All right, we're gonna wrap this up with Lizzo because she decided that she is going to quit um, music, taking a step back. And I know that you guys have been uh, handling this case for quite some time. So she said, I'm getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the internet. All I want is to make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better than how I found it, but I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. She explained that she's constantly up against life, lies being told about her for clout and views. She noted that she often feels like the butt of the joke every single time because of how she looks and being picked apart by uh, people who don't know her. She didn't sign up for this and she said, I quit. I saw a lot of chatter online that maybe uh, some people thought that she made this announcement because maybe some other allegations are going to be coming out about her. Like I said, I know that um, West Coast Trial Lawyers has been handling this case for quite some time. So what did you make of this statement? You know, it's tough to say because Lizzo has threatened to quit before. Obviously, mm -hmm. we represent the clients that are currently in litigation against Lizzo, and I expect there to be additional clients as well that mm -hmm. will come forward with claims and some already have. So the question is, you know, is Lizzo the one who's really being bullied or is she the one who's bullying her dancers? You know, mm -hmm. instead of quitting music, maybe just quit sexually harassing your employees and abusing them, and then you won't have these problems. You know, this is someone that really hasn't um, accepted any responsibility for what she's done. She's shamed the victim, she's called them liars. So personally, I don't have a whole lot of sympathy for her and I think, you know, history will take a look at, you know, people that have given her awards like the Humanitarian Award or her performing at this big Democratic fundraiser and I question why President Biden would choose an accused mm -hmm. abuser to perform at an event when there's many, many other people that I'm sure would have loved to have that opportunity.